I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And this is Fish, Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. Going. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'm it's like eight o'clock at night. We are sweating our butts off. Uh, Brandon is taking more fencing up the hill. You can see the T post going up, so he's headed up there. Um, we got Crystal helping us. She's up there tying the bottom of the fence at the edge um anyway we're having a problem because it's really hard to do this in the heat of the day we have heat indexes into the hundreds um and so we can basically only get a few things done in the morning and then it's too hot and then we have to wait till the evening so in uh in an idea of a quick fix is we're basically pulling the fence tight um hand tight and just hanging it over the t-post like this just to hold it in place um, our goats don't really abuse fences really that bad so we're basically just going to ooh, that's a big old fly um but we're basically sorry big old horse fly they freaking hurt i've been lucky enough not to get bit but brandon got bit and oh my goodness looks horrible sounded horrible um anyway Okay, just making sure it didn't reland. Anyway, so we're basically just gonna unroll the fence, pull it as tight as we can by hand, and just hang it over the T-post uh, the rest of the way around. Um, basically, it's a little bit hard to see, but down here in the bottom, that fence is already all tied up to, I think right about, I don't know if you can see that T-post, I know it's a little hard to see, but it's done up to there. So all we have to do is finish going to the top of the hill up where he's parked you know going across and then back down here so we're gonna just do it as hand tight as we can and just let them out um, that way at least they have all of this forage and it's roughly all the way up to the hill all of this all the way up to that fence line right there um, and that will give them plus everything that's over there all the way up to that big tree up there so anyway, it's probably going to give them about eight or nine acres of grass and trees and bushes and briars and everything because we're running low on hay and we're out of money. And so basically this is our option. We can't let them out anymore because they just take off. Um, so we're just trying to get them something to cut back on the feed bill. So we're going to see how far we can get. Hopefully we can get it done before it's dark um, because we've already untied the fence that they're in. So if they really wanted to, they could walk through if they notice that the hole is there. Um, so anyway, at least then it will give them food. And then we can slowly, because the fence will already be kind of in place, we can just come down and work an hour in the evening or two uh, and just pull it the rest of the way tight and tie it on. Okay, I officially made it up to this corner. You can see how, well... We were losing daylight, but you can see the fence line going all the way up to the very top of the hill where those two big oak trees are. I think those are oak trees. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, so they're going to get all this, and then the other fence is, I believe, all the way over here going down and over there where his truck is. So they're going to love all this. And the good thing is, is with all these trees in here, they'll have lots of shade because they're not like in the little house we built them other than to play on it. Okay, you guys, we just finished. We have lost all of our light. This is literally, I'm showing you the fence right now. <laughs> and it's that dark. You can see stars and planes and stuff going off. But anyway, here we go. Fencing is up temporarily. We just, like I said, just hung it over the T-post, pushed it all the way down. And 
So anyway, tomorrow morning, we have to take some goats and do a trade. So I'll try and film a little bit of that. And anyway, so maybe I can get some footage of the goats coming out into this huge pasture with lots and lots of trees. <sighs> so anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. So it's the next day. We're exhausted from working so late last night. But at least it's a nice cloudy day. Uh, but we're getting ready to do the... Um, oh, looks like we got a few sprinkles last night. Not much. Anyway, we're getting ready to load up the goats and do our trade. So we'll try and get some footage of that. But first we're going to take the goats down and show them that they can get out into their new pasture. So excited! So excited. Ready to go see what you got. Yeah. Come on, girls. Come go on, for a girls. walk. Let's go. Come on. Come on, girls. Yep, you too, Storm. Come on. Calm down. And go all the way down to the bottom here. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on girls. Come on, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what do you think, Storm? Yeah, go play. Woohoo! You gotta stay in the fence, okay? Come on, girls! Come on! Come on, girls! Come on, girls! Come on! Come on! Walk across the threshold! She's like, I don't know. Go ahead, Daphne. Come on, girls! You gotta fix that. Come on! Good girl, Daphne. Come on, think, girl, huh? let's go. Alright, well that didn't go well because nobody's out there. <laughs> They're not used to going down and out the bottom, so we're just gonna leave the gate open. I was hoping to catch it on video, um, but maybe when we come back we'll see them all out on the pasture. Okay, decided to entice them with some alfalfa pellets. It's working. Hey girls, come check it out. Gate's open. Cross the threshold. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. She'll go eventually. What? Okay, go eat. No, no pellets. Go eat. There you go. There you go. Come on, Bonnie. Look at that. Fresh pasture. Woohoo! Good girls. One lone goat. Come on! Good girl! Yeah, good girl. That's my old girl. Yeah, good girl, Bonnie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, pretty girl. Go and eat. Look at everybody out on pasture, huh? What, babe? Good girl. No, you don't need pellets. Look at all this grass. Look, it's empty. Okay, you were late to the party. Yeah, late to the party. Sorry, sweetie. Go on. There you go. Pippa, be nice. Alright, you guys, we're down here in the buck pen. And we're getting ready to get a hold of our three dinky little guys um we had somebody who wanted just some brush clearers so we figured they were perfect because they're too small to eat but they're not quality enough to be registered so we're gonna do a trade for some foam insulation for our house so we've got this little guy that red one and then a brown and white one in there up next to brandon 
right, we got these guys loaded. They only weaned about two weeks or so ago. Um, but because of our move, everybody didn't grow as well as we had hoped. So the stress of the move definitely slowed them down. But hopefully these guys will do well. They are just gonna do some brush clearing for the guy. And then eventually they'll go in the freezer. So no big deal, huh guys? Huh? Yeah, you guys can take your time growing. Yep. All right, guys, we're heading out. See where the girls are. They're all the way up into the trees. Oh. Looks like they're gonna be happy today. Sorry, guys, I completely forgot to get video, but the boys just left, and we got all of our insulation, and uh, so the boys are headed down just south of Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, we're gonna go over here and have some breakfast, and then we'll be heading home. All right, well, we made it back home and just came to check on the girls, and they found shade under this nice big tree here. The girls all happy, huh? Everybody's just hanging out. I think they approve. Alright you guys, well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.